Today, I'm going to teach you how to connect your Stream Deck to OBS so that you can use your Stream Deck buttons to control OBS in real time with those beautiful buttons on your new Stream Deck you got. Well, really quick, speaking of which, have you done the prerequisites required for this tutorial? So what I mean by that is you need to have a Stream Deck. This will work, by the way, on the Stream Deck Mini, the Stream Deck 15 key, or the Stream Deck 32 key. I have two of these. If you haven't bought a Stream Deck yet, affiliate link in the description below. You'll also need to download the official Stream Deck software. Once you download it, go ahead and install the software. It's the Stream Deck software, this thing right here. And then once you have the software on your computer, then you have to update the firmware. If you don't know how to do any of that, it's cool. Link below to a tutorials playlist for the Stream Deck. I've got a basic setup guide. It'll take care of all those prerequisite steps so that you can actually do the fun stuff like we're doing now programming for OBS. So the big function that I use this for, I'm using it in real time right now to switch between scenes on my other stream deck is switching scenes. So the scene function is right here under OBS Studio on the right hand side of your stream deck software. So what you do is drag the scene function over to one of your buttons, name it whatever you want it to be called. I'm just going to call mine scene one. You'll need to select the collection, your scene collection that that scene is in. So what do I mean scene collection? It's this thing in OBS right up here. You can make different collections of scenes, essentially different projects, if you will, within OBS, name it whatever that collection is, cool. You have to manually select that collection, which mine is called Stream Deck Tutorial, and then you select which scene you want it to go to within that collection. In this case, it'll be my first scene. Okay, to switch between scenes, you need to put the other scene on there too. So let's drag and drop scene number two here. Let's call it scene two. Feel free to join along with me while I'm doing this tutorial on your stream deck. You select the collection. Then you select the scene that you want it to go to with that button. I'm gonna select scene two right down here. So now when I hit, I'll just show it to you. When I hit my buttons on my stream deck XL over here, it's gonna switch scenes in OBS. So check this out. Scene one, scene two, scene one, Scene two, with physical buttons on the Stream Deck, pretty awesome, right? Cool, but there's a lot more that we can do here, including muting audio sources uh, in OBS. So what's the most common option here? Mixer audio, of course, you're gonna wanna mute probably your microphone. Maybe have a button that can mute your microphone on the fly, perhaps. Drag and drop that mixer audio option here. I'm gonna call this, call it whatever that audio source is called, so I'm gonna call mine mic. Go ahead and select your collection and then go ahead and select your source, which mine is called video capture device. That's my audio source that you see right behind me right over here, my video capture device. So let's say, for example, I'm I want to be able to mute my microphone, you know, on the fly and I don't want to have to touch the mic and hit the button on it. I don't want to have to go into my computer to mute the mic or any audio source at all. By programming this button in right here under Mixer Audio, check it out. When I hit that physical button, look what happens right here behind me. Boop, it mutes. Boop, it comes back on. Boop, I'm hitting the physical button on my Stream Deck to mute and unmute that, that audio source. That can be a capture card, that can be a mic, that can be a webcam, that can be any Mixer Audio source that you add into your audio mixer here in OBS. Feel free to play around with that as you see fit. It allows you to dynamically mix your audio basically using these buttons. Fantastic function, I freaking love it. Okay, the next one that's really essential that I'm using right now as I'm recording this video is the record function. So drag and drop that record. I recommend putting the record and stream buttons in the corners of your stream deck so you don't accidentally click them and name it record. And so uh, the, the functionality of that is obvious, right? You hit the record button, it starts recording. You see that right back here? It started recording in OBS. Cool. And then you hit it again and it stops recording. Makes sense. The same thing is the case with the stream button as well. It's the exact same functionality. Here it is. Just drag and drop that stream button onto your stream deck. I recommend putting it in the corner away from everything else, calling it stream or calling it live, whatever you want to call it. And the functionality is the same. Uh, mine's not going to work because I don't have a streaming platform hooked up. But once again, whenever you hit the stream button, it will automatically do the start streaming button right here in OBS right behind my head. It'll automatically just punch in your stream live. So you don't have to fiddle around and click on that button and figure it out. You just boom, hit live. I do that twice a day with both of my podcasts. It's a great function. The last part here, which is really interesting and customizable, is the source function in OBS. So 
drag the source over. And so what does this mean? This means within a particular scene, you can turn off a particular source if you want to. So what is a source? A source is anything that you're plugging into OBS here in the sources section. Could be an image, could be a PowerPoint, could be a webcam, could be anything at all. You can turn that thing on and off at the push of a button. So let me just show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna call this one cam because the only thing in this scene right here is my camera, right? So if for some reason I wanted to turn off the camera, I select my scene collection, I select which scene I want to affect, and it's in scene one, and I select the source down here, see this, that I want to turn on and off, which is my video capture device. So you have to select not only the collection, you have to select the scene, which is over here, then you have to select the source, which is right here, then you can control it, and as you can see, watch this, I hit the cam button on my stream deck, my cam turns off. You see how the little eyeball right there went away, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off using the physical button on your stream deck. Amazing, right? For those of you that have stayed to the end of the video, I've got a bonus item that is very, very useful uh, for OBS users. You ready? This is called a multi-action. So let's say you wanna do multiple things at the exact same time at the press of one button. The multi-action function here under the stream deck section allows you to do that. So let's drag and drop that and I'll show you how to program a multi-action. There is a whole set of things here that you can do. I'm gonna show you a basic one and I'll do a separate tutorial video on everything you could possibly do with this. But basically, you can take any other actions in the stream deck menu and program them in here and do them at the exact same time. So for example, let's say Whenever I hit this button, I want it to start recording. Boom, I drop in the record button. Cool, and it starts recording. But let's say at the same time, I, I want it to automatically go to scene two when I hit that button. Cool, I'll go ahead and do scene two, drag scene two in here, and go ahead and pick scene two, cool. And you can add any number of actions. I won't bore you with the details. And then you name this multi-action and we'll call it start. Let's say this is what I want to do whenever I start my content. Awesome. So now we'll back out and watch this. See the start button right here? Now, when I hit the start button on my stream deck, what's going to happen? Those two actions are going to happen at the same time. It's going to go to scene two and it's going to record in one press of one button like this. There it is. Scene two and I'm recording at the same time. Pretty awesome, right? That's the power of the stream deck. I hope you love your stream deck. And if you want me to help you set yours up or configure your studio, I do custom coaching for creators, streamers, and influencers. I've been doing this for a living for the last 10 years, helping creators succeed. AWOLDigital.com is my website. Just go, pick your day, pick your time, hit confirm, and then enter your information. And I'm on a one-on-one -on -one video call with you, helping you with your stream deck or your OBS or your social media strategy, you name it. Link in the description below to book me for coaching. Thanks for watching and have fun.